Yo, we're back on the Fellowship SMP, and it's a new year, so we're going to start doing stuff a little bit different. This year, we got some new audio and some new video stuff, so hopefully that'll help it be a little bit more fun. And then on top of that, any new subs can name an LA, so that should be fun. And then we also have a few new big projects that are coming up, including a Mushroom Kingdom Underground and finishing the zoo and maybe even a museum if we can get to it. So first we should jump over to the ocean exhibit and try and finish that up. I don't think I'm going to get it finished in this episode, but it is sure to look great by the end of it. And by great, I mean half done. So let's go. I went a little bit overboard at first, and now I might be a little confused with what I'm doing. But this is kind of the start of what I wanted to do, where it's going to be like I'll have fish separated from the axolotls, and one will be able to go right here. The other will go right here and be able to swim like down underneath and go over here. And they won't really all connect, but it'll be little different sections. And you'll be able to swim, see them swim underneath, and they'll go over the top as well. And I think it'll be pretty neat. It'll be like uh, going through the water, but it'll be easier to see. And uh, it'll you won't have to put a, whatever they're called, a conduit in here to be able to breathe through the whole thing. So yeah, I think it'll be pretty neat it'll just get a little confusing while I'm doing it so I'll try and check in through the whole thing instead of while I'm building it because I'm confused half the time <laughs> and having to undo things and break things that I already built it's just a lot of repeating the same thing so let's get back into that before I move forward with more of this I thought I'd explain what's going on which is Green goes to green, red goes to red, right? Makes sense. Green connects underneath, comes up, it'll be green right there too. All right, so that makes sense. And then if I switch back and forth, so green goes under right there, so red should go over. Then it'll go over to here, these should connect, this should go red under, green over. Should do that back and forth all the way to the end. But when I get over here, I get a little lost. So, I think I need to dig out all of this stuff and put the black uh, concrete in. And it just doesn't sound fun. So, I'm going to distract myself. Finally got it all blacked out and got some uh, area right here turned into glass so you can see the ground for a little bit too while you go through. And I'm trying to figure out how these are going to connect, but it's getting real confusing for me. So I kind of got like this one's going to go over, then I got to find out where it's going to stop. I think it's going to flow into here, and then eventually that one flows into this one, and this one should go under right here and connect with that one and this one will go over and it's supposed to flip flop but if I leave any holes then axolotls will just murder everything else that I put in so I gotta be really careful with where I put the axolotl ones in. Did a bit more tinkering and kind of decided I'd put kelp on all the red areas and I think 
think I got them all figured out so that you don't connect underneath. Now I only need to figure out how it's going to block all the top ones. And it seems like I think I know what I'm doing. Now I just got to get <laughs> all of the uh, kelp to grow and kind of fill up the waters. And then once it's just the top areas, I can kind of see where the water flows and uh, figure it out from there. So I might have messed it up or I might jump back to, nope, I have no idea what I'm doing. Turns out I have no idea what I'm doing. I still can't find out how I'm connecting <laughs> the green ones. I think the green ones go from here. It says over, but oh, so green one connects from over there goes under and connects to this one which will go over from right here and over into this one which will go under into here under here under here all down here there we go and that's where that fish is okay I kind of find where that fish went but it should have only been in red put him in the wrong one hopefully I put it in the wrong one so I think I got that figured out so I think what I got to do is I got to seal off all the red areas and then I can figure out how the green areas are going and add kelp to them too then we'll just worry about water afterwards because I could just break it and go into those so I think I got it all figured out that being said I have been working on a couple other things in between here. I'm breaking some bedrock, but that's quite boring and just is me almost killing myself a thousand times. And then on top of that, we are going to fly over and get a new quest from the egg in a little bit. And so we'll pop over to that. I did a few more things off camera, like I made a new uh, tunnel to the uh, nether highway. So this is my new tunnel. I used stairs for the walls all throughout it. So I thought it gave it a nice little texture. And then up here, it just breaks through the bedrock. And there was an extra annoying block that was right here. But I found a design by Arky, I believe is the name. And I'll put a link in the description and stuff. But it breaks it horizontally. There was also a vertically one. So I might also take these two out. Decided to pop in the replay mod of it, and it says that you need Tweakaroo for it, but I just switched the key and it worked. So maybe try it both ways if it doesn't work with a key for you, but here's how it went. And go check them out and give them a like and subscribe because they are awesome for helping out with this. Why? Oh. So these will be all the exhibits in the red side. And then fish and squid will go in the green side because then the axolotl can't get to them. So I'm going to have to move this squid that I brought over. I'll just kill this one and bring in a new one. But I'll have to move those into the green side. And there's some turtles being made over there. Hmm. What? It, what? Okay, so some... Hmm. I guess some turtles already hatched. And some already grew big somehow. So that's neat. Look at the little baby turtle. Go, little guy, go. Alright, anyways. Um... <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break all the, or I'm going to fill the water up everywhere on the red side and break all the kelp so I can move all the kelp to everything on the green side and hopefully everything will be in order there. And we can finally get this project really going. Just kidding. It's time for more egg stuff. So let's see what we get. <laughs> So I don't really remember where I put the paper. It's probably in a shulker box somewhere. But I did get a uh, paper from the egg that said 
do some redstone, I believe is what it said. And so I think I'm going to remake my bartering farm because this was just a random design that I made on the fly like a while ago. I just didn't really know what I was doing. I just knew like a concept of how it worked. And so now I'm going to make a new one that I designed on a creative server. I've I know some other people have probably done the same thing, but probably a little bit better than mine's going to be. <laughs> I just don't know where to find a uh, design like I wanted. But it's going to be right here. I'm going to have all of them follow me over here. It'll have ten pigments in this one little spot. And one thing that'll feed them ten pieces of gold. And then it'll shoot their stuff off into my new uh, area. So, before I do that, let's see if we can get the first Pikmin to at least follow me. So let's go, maybe this guy over here. Alright. And... Hello? Oh. Ouch. Come on, no, follow me up. Up here, come on, come on. Hey. There we go, come on, keep following me. Over here, and then follow me over here. Why? Why would you jump off the edge like that? Over here. There we go. Perfect. So that's where they will stay. And hopefully I can just repeat that uh, nine more times. And then I'll probably just jump into a time lapse because it's not going to be a short build. Well, we ran into a problem. <laughs> if you notice in the back, the hoppers are on the wrong side here. This is going to send items along that side. So, with a little movie magic, we will plant this sign. 
This is fixed now. And boom. Hey, it worked. It's fixed. And now this will go along this edge. And when it gets to the end, I can have fire right there if I want to turn off the overflows. And it should all work out now. So I filled up the uh, chest up there, which I still need to make an area to, you know, move around up there and make it work and stuff. But for right now, go over here, check this out. It's completely full of gold. And those will all go into the dropper right here. That will send that. I need to get out of the way. And I think it should be running now. There we go. And all of them will go in. Except for in here where it's stuff we don't care about. It should be working fine. And filling up the filters. Some of the filters are going to take a little bit longer. Like that one because I have two of them doesn't really matter as long as one's in there it'll be fine until the other one overflows but then over here we got a hopper clock so it fires every 13 items and so after 26 items go through it will launch everything that they have that they barter to you that will go across a pressure plate which will fire it to drop more ingots and launch this piston which has the uh, slime block on it and that'll launch all the items across but when it slides across the top if I can get up there so when it slides across the top it'll align with these chests and so it'll slide just across the top of the hoppers and they will all be filtered I know there's other designs like this I don't know who though so if anyone wants to link them in the comments I'll put it in the description because this is a sloppy version of one that I just kind of knew the concept of how it works and so I made it work. Still gotta add a bunch of decorations into the tanks but this is what I got so far and I think I'm gonna call it for this week but I still need to add a bunch more different colors of axolotls. I need to get more frogs and then I need to add more fish over into this side and hope that they stay there and find out why I keep finding random axolotls in with other fish. Maybe I just placed them in the wrong tanks when I was doing it but not sure. Well that's gonna be it for this week. Thanks for watching. If you want NLA named after you, just subscribe and comment the name you want. And it'll appear in the next video. Bye.